What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Prince Vegeta from Legend of Dragon Ball Tale, a fan film. A new, well, if you're from the future, it won't be new to you, but it's new at the minute. <laughs> so, a new fan film, so cool, epic, right? So I love this still of Vegeta saying, war. I'm on the landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. It's kind of a three quarter pose, nearly profile, right? So center point to my page is about here, come over to the left and we're gonna start with his nose, right? Face is over, kind of left hand side, hair going this way and shoulder going down here. So to do the nose, you do a kind of a letter L, right? So it kind of curves out, it's real pointy, comes back in like that, right? So it's kind of like a letter L, or an upside down seven. Maybe it's got like a little bump. And the brow, sort of he's frowning quite heavily, right? So it goes up this way. You got like a frown line here. Kind of comes across the nose and down. There's a couple of wrinkles and stuff here. It goes up there like that. Do, 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 do. His nostril, just here, quite big. Like so, completely different sort of animation style. And we can see his big eyebrow sticking off this way. So we've got a curve line there. And then this will curve around the eye and back down here. We've got an extra hook. So like in Dragon Ball, that would curve up that way and then it would just go taper in. Right, but with this one, he added an extra spike here. And then this comes down to there. So his eye then underneath, right? So it's touching the eyebrow. So we got like a line here. And then this will go back from the eyebrow to there. Down, up, across, into there. And then you color this black. A bit thick. And then bottom eyelid line, down like so and his iris just there and this is just black uh, he has an eyelid line as well like another eyelid line on top there is some lines at the end of his eyebrows you can see his his other eye right and his other eyebrow so like here we have, say, just down, say where the, the eye is here. It's just down from it, and his eyelash line kind of sticks out here. Comes to a bit of a point and goes back, right? He's just this little spike sticking out. And then his eyeball, just there. And we'll just put a shadow here for his iris that we can't really see on the other side. His eyebrow then goes up. This is like real small now, three quarter pose, right? So it goes down, hooks down like that. And then it'll go up and join his brow eventually. But we just have another sort of eyelid line, line here. And then the inside of his eyebrow up to that spike. down here and then the brow will go this way so how high up we go we'll go up here and then we we'll have a little frown line frown line there 
so. Right, we'll go down and try and finish his face, right? So his cheek sort of sticks out here. And then it comes down real long. Like that. So this whole space and this whole space are about the same, right? So nose to the top of his forehead there. And the bottom of his nose to his chin is about the same. So this is like half. This is like halfway between here and here, roughly. Okay? On the vertical. So then the chin goes in, and then the jaw up this way, a real strong jaw, and then change direction up towards his ear. So his mouth is quite close to his nose, right? It's not like if, if my instincts, I would like put it here, but that wouldn't look right because he's kind of head is tilted, right? So it's kind of closer to the nose. So we started here. Curves up, down, kind of like a letter M. And we go back to there. And then a small line for his bottom lip. So we've got a sideburn here. And this becomes his ear, which is really big. Like that. And then ear lines. Around like so. Lots of different ways of doing this now. And then his sideburn sort of spikes again, comes in, up, and then we have that classic Vegeta hairline, which kind of comes around and spikes down to a spike in the middle of his head. And then this will go that way. So he's just fought Broly, right? So we've got like, so like there's some light lines coming around his cheek there and some like scratches and punch marks and stuff you know as much of this as you want really war okay so the rest of his hair goes up to here So, and then we go up to there. Like that just goes off my page. There, and his hair will come back in on this side, right? So it'll come down like so. And then we've got like another spike going up here. Down. Another one. There. Seems to be another one drawn in here, and something else going like this way. And so it's colored sort of with an outer glow, right? So we'll do it kind of black and gray on the outer glow. So we'll just add this outer line. So outside here will be all gray and inside black. So another one here. Look at that, I can't see. It's got to brighten up my image. I know. Just look at her. But yeah, I think this spike has another line going that way. And then on the outer, there. that 
Okay, so we'll move down now and do the neck. So neckline at the back comes down here, comes out from his chin like this. We've got an Adam's apple that kind of sticks out here. And then we'll have like a neck muscle line going down that way. Another one sort of here in the front of his neck on this side. And then that way. And then his trapezius kind of goes off here. And it'll meet like his shoulder and his back. One down that way. And then his collar. It's across there. And he does have these kind of hatching lines just underneath his chin. Something else back here. And again, and more scratches and stuff if you want on his face. There it is, that's how to drop Prince Vegeta from Dragon Ball Legend of Dragon Ball Tale. Epic fan film, probably the best one I've seen. War. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Bye.